Hey everybody, today we're gonna go over probably one of my favorite units. I mean, it's the Groundhog ZH30D, bigger unit, so obviously there's some, some differences. So everybody's kind of back and forth, 25 or 30. We did have a lot of information on the 30s. It was something that we should have probably put more time into and we have here traditionally, but a little bit deeper depth bucket. This is a quick attach on this unit. So on these 30s, it's a mechanical quick attach yet, still optioned as a hydraulic. But on the 25s, they are hydraulic. And so there's a little bit of difference there. These units are starting to get into a big machine. It's a 5,000 pound machine, cab, heat, AC. It's got the guard on the front for the fall protection. It's got a nice big layout inside. So for my bigger guys, these are the size of units you want to add a cab. These are the size of units that you, the size of units that you want if you're a bigger guy. That's why we kept telling everybody, don't do it on a BH20D. If you can do it, go to a little bit bigger unit. Obviously, we understand finances, but here's where we're at. For roughly the price of a one-ton Bobcat, you can have a two-and-a-half ton enclosed cab, hydraulic thumb, heat hasty unit. I mean, you're at $29.9 for an enclosed cab. That's the first price I gave in a long time because of all the price changes, but I'm going to give one today. $29.9 for this machine. The average E10 on a Bobcat is $25.7 until you put a hydraulic thumb on and get everything done. You're roughly $29.30,000. $30, maybe a little bit shorter, sure. There's going to be places that maybe are a thousand less or whatever, but roughly the same cost. So you can have this or you can have a little one ton Bobcat. And don't get me wrong, we sell one ton machines, but they're not $30,000. You know, our one ton machines are $10,900. Our comparable units are $16,900. So this machine is a very powerful unit. It's got a Kubota V1505 engine. You know, all of our small guys uh, have a Briggs & Stratton XR Professional in the gas units. And then we start with a Kubota D722 to a Kubota D902 and so on. These have the V1505, so everything's on the engine. Uh, I like how they look. I mean, when you look around these things, I think that they look very sleek. Again, fall protection. I don't have it unlocked. I forgot to pull the unlock. So, but, and that's the second part. You're not gonna, everything has a keyed entry. So if you wanna lock your machine at a job site, everything has a keyed entry. And I, lo I like, I mean, this is probably one of my favorite units. I run one when it first got here. We sold it before we even did any information. Again, not thinking that we were gonna be to this level. And I, this was actually a machine I ordered for myself. But these units are 52 inches wide. They are seven foot six high. But the really cool thing is max digging radius, which is what all your Bobcat measurements are from the swivel out is 14 feet. I mean, you got a heck of a dump at nine foot eight dump at a 14 foot max digging radius. It's a heck of a unit. You got your protection for your cylinders. You got a nice wide thumb. Again, hydraulic thumb. It's got the diverter on the side. So if you wanted to run a post hole digger or something, you don't gotta take the thumb loose. You got hardened lines all the way up through. I mean, a very well put together unit. I hope we're gonna beat this storm. I'm gonna give it a test run. Uh, I'm gonna try to break through. I just had a one ton Bobcat that we we're trying to break through some of this really hard stuff. I'm gonna see if I can break through with this bigger guy and uh, we'll see how she does. And I'm gonna go out one more time. We're gonna go over all of the other models that we have a few up here. I'm gonna walk around well, actually, I'll just have my camera guy flip around. So, ZH30D video. But right here, we have our KH30D, which is just one step down over that one. A 4,500-pound unit, almost 46. And everything is very close. It's just a little bit shorter, a little bit smaller, a little bit everything. Still has a Kubota V1505, which makes it the 30 series. Remember, that's how we do ours. Kind of like New Holland. It's 30-horsepower diesel engine, K being the smallest in the series. So, these, same thing. A heat AC cab, these units for less than the price of a one ton Bobcat, because obviously that was $29.9. We're going to be in a nice, pretty unit like this that's got 13 foot six max radius and still a nice cab. Nice, nice open cabs on these units. I mean, the 30 is really where you start to get to the nice open cabs. And we do have a new uh, body coming out for 2023, which we just started production here in June. And all of our booms are the same as a Kubota boom with the inserts, but we double plate our gussets. Because if you look at every excavator, where do they break? They break right at the knuckle. So every one of these has the extra plate added on them. 
Uh, this is the 25, so now we want ZH30, we will go KH30. This is the 25, so very, very good machine. In the 25, I think that they do very good. Kubota D1105, just a little bit less of everything. I mean, comparable, but also less money. So these units, though, what I do like is instead of a hydraulic quick or a mechanical quick attach, you get a hydraulic quick attach. But if you do go with one of these and you want the hydraulic quick attach, please tell us before you even get it through the factory. We have them optioned about 70 30. So when we have on our stock order, 70% are going to have it because they are. I mean, if you want it, it's great to have on. Hold the button on the joystick, pops right off, and put a new attachment on, your, and you're back up and running. These units, as you can see, don't have quite as much room because this is the first rear engine. So there's not as big of a platform as these 30s. So before this storm hits, I'm going to run the ZH30. I'm hoping to get the KH30 video in, and we'll give you guys a run of how they operate, how they dig. I'm hoping I can break through this hard stone, and if I do, I'll be... I'll be pretty happy because usually I use about a, a five ton unit to go through that stuff, but here we go. pretty happy with it. If you look at our dirt, again, it's packed driveway, it's clay. If you've never dug through clay, I mean, it's not much harder besides shale, which we also have. So we live in a slump here where the valley kind of rolls everything off, the runoff takes all the topsoil. So it's just, it's all tight packed. If you have topsoil, you can see that this thing is gonna rip through. Any machine as you're digging, you're gonna hit force. And that force is when you start to roll out and pick up. So. I mean, I'm, what were we, 10 seconds? If you look at the video roughly, I got my ditch started and I'm through some pretty hard material. Again, this is your ZH30D. Uh, I don't give many prices because of the world we live in, but 29.9 is where we at as of today. That's what the price is. Maybe it goes up, I doubt it goes down. Hey, maybe though, we don't know what the world's gonna do anymore. But ZH30D, if you guys have any questions, just give us a call, 570. 765-9338. It was good seeing everybody. We'll catch you in the next one.